everyone. This is a video response to Robbie Trailer. Um, we got into a discussion on another video. I'll put the link below to that video. Um, and 1975 came up, and uh, they wanted to, to know what Watchtower came out of. I explained it was the Kingdom Ministry, and they wanted proof. Um, we also discussed the, um, and I did get a little sarcastic here, uh, about the Watchtower quotes of not having children and how some of them are so old that the people that didn't have children are now dead. And uh, again, wants proof. So that's what these, uh, this video is about. So I'm providing the proof. Um, what people tend to forget when it comes to the Watchtower is the Watchtower is first and foremost a publishing company and that the information can be found uh, because they do publish. Now when I talked about, I'm going to start with the children um, because I talked about an old quote that was so old that anybody that followed that advice is now dead. Um, this is a book called Children and it is a Watchtower Bible and Tract Society publication. So it's the book Children, and it is a Watchtower Bible and Tract Society publication published in 1941, 72 years ago. And I love this part. It's dedicated to the Creator. So they dedicated this book to Jehovah, and it's now such old light that you're practically forbidden to read it. Um, because it's all outdated, but yet they they put, dedicated it to Jehovah. Um, what I also liked in here was the, uh, the little kind of push for their literature, their propaganda. This is the Rutherford Rainbow, and here's the book Children that's elevated there. Um, but you can see why it's called the Rainbow, because it's all the pretty colors and you know all the the pictures of the publications. That are now old light, old truths to be ignored. And it's just crazy. So, anyway, the quote for the children comes out of this book. There are a lot of them, but because I specifically mentioned that they would be now dead, um, I pulled it out of this book. Now, it comes the quote I'm going to use is going to come out of chapter 10, The Mandate. And this talks about how in the Garden of Eden, Adam and Eve were instructed to be fruitful and multiply. And uh, how when they partake of, partook of the fruit, that was canceled. And yes, they did have children, but their promise was null and void. Um, and then it goes on into Noah and his family and how the flood is, they're using that example to parallel Armageddon. And we should be following the example of Noah's family. Noah's children didn't have children of their own before the flood or on the ark. They waited until two years after to have children and that we should be following their, their example. And on page 312, should men and women, both of whom are Jonadabs or other sheep of the Lord, now marry before Armageddon and bring forth children? They may choose to do so, but the admonition or advice of the scriptures appears to be against it. So they've been leading up to no, 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 no. And here they're telling you, well, yeah, you can, but the scriptures say no. And, uh, you know, they quote Matthew, which is what I grew up with as well. Woe unto them that are with child and to them that give suck in those days. So it's, it, you know, it, it's not a good time to be having kids because Armageddon is so close and you really don't want to be with child or have small children. And, you know, they also reinforce that just because you have children, they're, they, they're not guaranteed to make it either. So um, not a good idea. It's really pushed not a good idea. And then the way in typical Watchtower format, they give you all the, the, this is what we want you to do. We don't want you to have children because the Bible says so. We, we don't want you to do this. We want you to follow Noah's example. We want you, this is what we want you to do. It's to not have children. 
dedicate yourself to door to door. Yeah, you know, because Armageddon is so close. And then they punctuate it with an example. They give you an example of Eunice and John. And they're in love and they're contemplating their future. And they decide we can well defer our marriage until lasting peace comes to the earth. Now we must add nothing to our burdens, but be free and equipped to serve the Lord. So this is an example of people who followed this advice in 1941, died unmarried and without children. So here's one example of the proof that you were asking for. There are others. Um, and like I said, I grew up with it as well. You know, I was told the same thing over and over and over again, especially as I got older. You know, my daughter's now in her 20s. Yeah, so it's a good thing I didn't wait. Um, the other one was the selling of the homes. Now, this one came out of the kingdom ministry, and it was not a public publication. And for those of you that remember the kingdom ministry, it was this little flimsy handout kind of thing that we got. And it was discussed at the Theocratic Ministry School. And it was not public. You had to be a publisher. You had to be a member in order to get a copy of this. And they were very flimsy, so they're a little hard to get a hold of. However, there are people that save everything. And you can, there are places that you can actually purchase Old Kingdom Ministries. Um, but I did manage to find a scan of the page in question that I was discussing. I will put a link for it below, and I will put at the end um, the full pages of this, so you can take a look at it in context, and the full page of this, so you can take a look at it as well. Um, but it was the Kingdom Ministry, May 1974, and it was titled... How are you using your life? And the subheading was God's will for us. And it was all about the, you know, the Jehovah makes it clear that your job is to go door to door. Jesus set the example of preaching and he was such a go-getter. And quote, should we not today be intimidated, imitating his example, Jesus is. Uh, especially since we have such a short time left now in which to complete the kingdom preaching. And a little farther below, reports are heard of brothers selling their homes and properties and planning to finish out the rest of their days in this old system in the pioneer service. Certainly this is a fine way to spend the short time remaining before the wicked world ends. Now again, this was May 1974, and Armageddon was supposed to happen in September of 1975. So they thought they were in the last months. Now you may think that this is not a big deal, but this is coupled with the talk on, you know, the discussion that we had in the Kingdom Hall regarding this, and how these brothers were elevated as a shining example of what we should be doing. You know, they were showcased in these assemblies from the, the platform. They were set up as an example for us to follow. This is what they wanted us to do. And, you know, my father even t thought about it briefly. He decided against it because he had four, you know, there were four kids. Um, so he decided against it. But I remember the discussion going on in the house on whether or not we should do the same thing. And... There were others, and they were treated like rock stars. If they did this, they were treated, they were elevated, and they were they were an example. And uh, yeah, when 1976 came and nothing happened, was there an apology or a reimbursement from the Watchtower? No. There was a blaming of the rank and file. It's like, how dare you believe us? You know, nobody knows. How dare you believe us? Um, kind of thing. So yeah, there's a couple of examples um, of the proof that you asked for. Um, again, there'll be scans at the end, links below, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.